Hello everyone, welcome to iExamB. My name is Aditi and I am the Economics faculty at iExamB. And in this video, I am going to discuss one uh, more question with you from the previous year paper. This is from the general economics paper one. So as you know, there are four papers of economics that you have to write. Uh, this is the very first paper of uh, Indian Economic Service Examination. And because this uh, paper has a vast syllabus, so if you complete the syllabus of GE1, almost 60% uh, to 70% of the syllabus is done. So hence, uh, I suggest that you focus more on the GE paper one, if you have to clear this examination. So let's uh, start the video. Here the question says that suppose there is a utility function that is given to you and um, these are the forms of the utility function. So the question has three parts. It is giving you utility function of these three kinds, right? And it also says that the budget of the consumer is 10,000. So this is the income which the consumer has and the price of good X and good Y are $1.50 and $1.20 per unit. Okay. And you have to determine the possibility of equilibrium basket in each of these uh, three scenarios that is mentioned. So what would be the equilibrium or the optimal bundle? that uh, the consumer would be uh, choosing in each of these uh, scenarios in each of these different utility functions so you have to use diagram and show and you have to comment on the nature of the solutions so nature of the solution meaning whether it's a corner solution or whether it's an interior solution what kind of solution are you getting so let's Look at these one by one. <coughs> Suppose the utility function is 50x plus 20y. Now we all know this is a standard case of perfect uh, substitutes. That's how the utility function is written. So in this case, the income is 1000, price is 50 and uh, for x and for y it is 20. Now how are we going to determine what would be the optimal? So we compare the marginal rate of substitution. What is the marginal rate of substitution? It is the absolute value of the slope of the indifference curve. We look at what is the MRS and we compare it with the price ratio. Why do we compare it with the price ratio? We compare it with the price ratio because the price ratio tells us the slope of the budget line. So you compare this uh, MRS with the price ratio, whether the MRS is equal to the price ratio or whether it is greater than or whether it is less than, depending upon these uh, cases, we can figure out what would be the optimal solution for the consumer. So let's look at the MRS. So how do we find MRS for this uh, utility function? MRS is the ratio of marginal utility that the consumer is getting from X and the marginal utility of Y. This is the value of MRS. Okay. Now you have this utility function in front of you, which is 50X plus 20Y. Right. So you differentiate this utility function first with respect to X that is going to give you margin utility of X. So when you differentiate this, what do you get? You have 50. The next is you differentiate this with respect to Y. What do you get? You get 20. So the ratio of 50 and 20 is the MRS, which is 2.5. So this is the MRS here. Now what is the price ratio? The price ratio would be same under all these three cases. Only the utility function is changing. So the price ratio is Px upon Py which is also 50 and 20. The price ratio is also 25. So what do we get here that the MRS, the slope of the indifference curve is equal to the price ratio Px upon Py which is the slope of the budget line. So if you have to draw the diagram for this, how will it look like? Suppose 
here this is x bundle and this is uh, y commodity here okay on the x y plane now we are going to draw indifference curve for this utility function so utility is equal to 50x plus 20y right and uh, we are also going to draw the budget line what is the budget line the budget line is x times px plus y times py is equal to 10,000. This is the budget line. That means you can also plug in the values of px and py. So this is 50x plus 20y is equal to 10,000. This is the budget line, the equation of the budget line. And you have to plot the indifference curve from here and compare the two. So now let me plot the budget line first. So obviously when x is 0, y would be 500 and when y is 0, x would be 200. This is how the budget line will look for this uh, values when the income is 10,000 and when the prices are 50 and 20. Now, uh, the slope of the budget line was 2.5 and the slope of indifference curve which is MRS is also 2.5. So since the slopes are equal, right, the indifference curve also will be parallel to these budget lines. So that means that uh, this is how the indifference map would look like for this utility function. So what is going to be the optimal? It will be uh, the all the points that would lie on the budget line. So any point, any combination, because we want to achieve the highest possible indifference curve given the budget line. So this is the highest possible indifference curve that the consumer can be on. So this will be uh, the set of all the optimal solution for the consumer all the points all the points here on the budget line now let's look at the second part the second part says that the utility function is 20x plus 50y so here the price ratio was 2.5 right px upon py is 2.5 this will be the same in all the three cases. Now, what will be the MRS here? MRS will be <coughs> 20 divided by 50, which is 0.4. So, MRS here is less than the price ratio. MRS is less than the price ratio Px by Py. That means what? That the indifference curves, the lines are going to be flatter than the budget line. This means that suppose... I'm plotting, this is my budget line, 500 here, 200 here, this is the budget line. Now the indifference curves are going to be flatter than this. So flatter meaning, let's say, this is how the indifference map would look like. So for such a scenario, Obviously, given the budget line, the consumer would want to go on the highest possible indifference curve. So, where will the optimum be? The optimum would be here, this particular point. So, this at this particular point, the consumer is purchasing x, 0 units of x and m upon p by units of y, which means 0, 0,500 is the optimal solution in this case the second case now let's look at the third case also third case says that the utility function is 80x plus 40y so this means the mrs would be 80 divided by 40 which is 2 and the price ratio we remember it was 2.5 so again what is happening with the mrs 
the value of MRS is less than the price ratio. So how will you draw the ICs and the budget line for this case? The budget line is going to be here 500 and 200 for this. And again, the indifference curves would be flatter here. So flatter meaning that these, these would be the ICs. So again, the optimal solution would be this, which is 0, 0,500 in this case. But the only difference between this case and the earlier case is that here, the slope of MRS was 0.4. And in this case, the slope of MRS is 2. So here, the indifference curve would be slightly steeper but it will still be flatter than the budget line. Okay, hence this is the only optimal solution. So this is how you solve such questions. Uh, we have uh, an IES uh, test series. We are launching an Indian economics test series. We will be giving you 12 tests on economics and three in general English. And additionally, apart from this, we are giving you 10 lectures by expert faculty on some different areas that we have identified for the Indian Economic Service Examination. Also, this is the test series schedule. We are starting this test series from 17th of March. The tests are going to be released in a phased manner. You will have a week's time to attempt the test and submit it to us. So, this is the... Uh, schedule you can download the detailed schedule from the description of the video and you can also fill the google form if you have any queries regarding the indian economic service examination this is the process of attempting the whole test first the test will be uploaded in the course section for you to attempt then you have to write this to uh, the test in the same manner that you write in the actual examination it will be handwritten you have to scan it and upload it then the test will be checked by the faculty and the feedback is going to be sent to you over email and a sample answer will be uploaded in the course section for you to check. So if you wish you can check out the course and enroll. If you have any queries also you can call us on this uh, number here that is mentioned on the screen and thank you.